everyone. My name is Ashlyn and I built a tiny house. I am currently 20 years old and a college student in my final year. I built a 12 by 24 tiny house on my parents' property. It took approximately eight months and under $10,000 build. I'm thinking even less than that, but I don't have the exact numbers for it. Now that I've talked up a storm, I want to actually give you a tour of said tiny house. So, if you'll come with me, let's go do it. So we're gonna start outside because there's a little bit that I wanna show you and talk about while we're out here. So this is my tiny house. As you can see, it is on top of another kind of building thing, but it was already there. The sticks that make up the stair railing and the sticks that are up here are all either beaver sticks or driftwood from the Ohio River. I picked them all out and then arranged them so that they looked like that. And I just think it's a really nice touch. Up at the top, I have some planters. Uh, only one has flowers in it right now because um, it's the end of summer and I figured all the flowers would die. So we're gonna make our way up. Here's another view of the beaver sticks. And obviously this tiny house is lived in, so I have my stuff everywhere. My door is purple. It's so pretty, I love it. To enter, and here is my tiny house. So I'm gonna start over here. But I have a speaker box. I have this side table for storage. And then I have this day bed, um, which actually doubles as my bed and couch. So I bought the sides in the back from Facebook Marketplace. And it had a thing for the bottom, but it was really, really, really bad. So I ended up making a frame for it so you can see it right there. These drawers were from my bedroom in my parents' house and I just cut it in half and um, screwed it to the frame. I think it's very obvious what my favorite color is, but I do have it everywhere. Next, we'll continue to my kitchen-ish area. I have my favorite water dispenser. And then I have my kitchen, the cabinets and the countertops and the sink and you know, whatnot. But I bought them at a discounted like, it was, but it's discounted because it either has like a nick in it or buy it in bulk and it's like out of style. Countertops were custom made though. I also went with a little tiny fridge. It's not quite like a mini mini, uh, but it, it is pretty small. It's stuffed right now for like sure. Like I, I will admit, but for me, it works. I also, with my mom, put up these shelves. These shelves are really awesome. I really got a good deal on them because the actual shelf itself is just a one by 10, I believe that I painted underneath these brackets were from Walmart and they were like $3 a piece. Next, we'll go around to back. So there is a loft and currently I just have storage up there. Uh, originally I was gonna do a bed, but if you look at this part right here, that is the highest part and that is only three feet. <laughs> and so, it's only three feet and it only gets smaller. And so it was just, it was really squished up there, but it works really well for storage. So we go into my mini hallway. I have my closet here, right here. I have a mirror and I put a bunch of fake plants around it cause um, I'm basic. So if we turn around, you'll see my bathroom, but I wanted to show off my door really quick cause I love it. It's got this super cool engraved pattern. It was originally just like, a slab of wood. Um, they had to frame it. It's just so cool and I'm so glad that I was able to do that. The layout of this bathroom was originally designed after the bathroom in my parents house because I was like man I like this layout. So the size of it is exactly the same as my parents house. And the toilet here. I actually bought a toilet but it was if you look at this like that is like barely, like there's an inch or so between that. The one I bought was like 
just too big. It was like right against it. And so I had to go switch this out with um, another one that my parents had. I installed, as you can tell from the last video, I installed this cabinet. I put these handles on all of them. It's actually in my kitchen too, and they're adorable. And then I just have a shower. I love baths. So I was like, I really want a bathtub because I, I probably could have made this bathroom even smaller if I didn't have a bathtub, but I really like baths. And then I put more fake plants because I'm basic. And behind here, I have like the towel that I'll use. I have my one coat and um, some bags because I needed more storage, believe it or not. So we're gonna go this way over here laundry not really exciting i also have this little wicker stand thing that i got it matches my bed and it was like 10 bucks and i really like it this is what is going to hopefully heat and cool my house if we go over here this desk was actually in my old bedroom in my old house and i used to be a hardcore gamer but i'm not quite anymore but i still wanted a desk and i still wanted my whole gaming setup and so this ended up working out perfectly it is so beautiful i have another one of those side tables that happen to fit perfectly under there and then my gaming setup so that is my tiny house i want to thank you guys for watching and i hope to make more videos in here and on my journey to my last year of college. So stay tuned for those videos and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.